looks good. And there's still loads left. Good afternoon everyone. So today I've decided to make a bean, let me just check, double bean and roasted pepper chilli. Now I normally do a beef chilli with onion and um, tomatoes and things. So I thought I'd do a bean chilli. It does take a lot more prepping and a bit more fiddly. So I'm starting it now early and cooking it so we can just heat it up ready for tea. I'm less stressed that way. So I shall show you what I'm going to put in. And there's a lot of ingredients. In fact, the, the recipe actually, it says it's like a huge dish so you could freeze some. So I'm, I won't be putting as many tins of beans in as what it says. So, but there's still quite a lot. So I shall show you what I'm putting in. Some black beans, some cannellini beans, some pinto beans, refried beans, chopped tomatoes, definitely one or two, so I shall see how this will go along, and some canned roasted peppers there, not canned, sorry, jarred roasted peppers, and some chipotle, chipotle chili paste, I've never used that before. And here, here we have some fresh tomatoes that I need to use, that's not actually in the, in the recipe, but I need to use them up anyway and onion, two peppers, celery. Right, so this step is the onion, celery, and I've got two peppers in there, orange and yellow pepper, and some oil. I'm just gonna fry it up until brown and softened. That looks so lovely, look at all those lovely colors. Satisfying on the eye. Nice and healthy. And for my next bit is to add the jar of peppers, or third of the jar of peppers, into the food processor with the paste. Oh, there's supposed to be some red wine vinegar in this, but I did read a different recipe and they use lime juice, so I'm just gonna put some lime juice in. And also it has cocoa powder. Now I don't have cocoa powder, but what I do have is options for chocolate. Try that, might work. So in here I have a quarter of a jar of roasted peppers and I've got all my herbs and spices. I have adapted them slightly because this recipe just serve eight and I'm only serving four. So where it says tablespoons, I've used teaspoons. Where it says two tablespoons, I've used one tablespoon. Um, that kind of thing. I have put a little bit of the option of chocolate in <laughs> and the lime juice. I've just, you know, Add lib a little bit, see what you've got in. I also didn't have any um, oregano in, so I've used some marjoram, which is a nice herb, similar thing. So I'm gonna mix all this together and then do the next stage. So I've whisked all that together. So I've got a paste here, which I need to add to the vegetables. So now I've added the refried beans, a can, one can of chopped tomatoes. I think I'll just need one can because I'm not using as many beans. And um, half a can, just say one can of water. So I've got half a can of uh, cold water in there as well. So I'm just going to mix all that together. Looking lush. Pop an autumn dish in here. Actually, now all I have to do is simmer this for one hour. Give me time to go and cut the grass. And then I add the beans and chop the rest of the peppers, the canned jarred peppers. And once an hour's passed, we'll get back to you. One hour later. Okay, so in here I have been simmering the ingredients and then I've added a tin of black beans, a tin of kidney beans. I think I forgot to line up with the other beans earlier to show you. So black beans, kidney beans, cannellini beans, and pinto. pinto beans. So I've got them all in there now, all mixed up, and I've just turned off the heat, and then I'm going to just heat up that up later for tea. And then it's all done. Woohoo! Teaser, what you want? You want another treat? Another treat? Go on then, it's because I love you. Right, you ready to see my chili? Looks pretty nice actually. Get ready. Here we have it. My, it was a multiple bean and roasted pepper chilli. I can't remember how many beans left on the title. And we've got some tortilla chips there. I've eaten most of mine <laughs> while I'm cooking. And some sour cream on top. Me and Chris have got jalapenos. Mmm. 
That looks good. And there's still loads left. How much it made, not even half the quantity as well. Goodness me, I would have had to have two pans if I'd used it all. So there you have it. My bean and pepper chili and tortilla chips and something. Yeah.